Diabetes mellitus refers to a condition of high blood sugar. To understand diabetes, it helps to understand what happens to food as it journeys through the body. Food passes through the digestive system, including the esophagus, stomach, and intestines. During this process, the body breaks down food into different parts, such as carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. The carbohydrates consumed turn into blood sugar known as glucose. Glucose is vital because it is an important source of energy for the cells that make up the muscles and tissues in the body. It is also the brain's main source of fuel. The pancreas also plays an important role in digestion. It releases digestive enzymes and hormones that help digest food. One of these hormones, insulin, is necessary to regulate blood glucose. Think of insulin as a key that opens up the locks on the body's cells so that glucose, blood sugar, can get inside and be used for energy. If the pancreas doesn't make enough insulin, glucose builds up in the bloodstream, resulting in high blood glucose levels. There are three main types of diabetes, type 1, type 2, and gestational diabetes. All types of diabetes can lead to excess sugar in the blood, and too much sugar in the blood can lead to serious health problems. Type 1 diabetes occurs when there is a lack of insulin production by the pancreas, and therefore, instead of glucose being transported into the cells, glucose builds up in the bloodstream. This is why people with type 1 diabetes must inject themselves with synthetic insulin. Type 1 diabetes occurs due to autoimmune disease of the pancreas. Autoimmune disorders are diseases where organs in the body, such as the pancreas, are attacked by other cells in the body. The exact cause or trigger of this autoimmune process is unknown. Diabetes symptoms vary depending on how much the blood sugar is elevated. Early warning signs include increased thirst, fatigue, irritability, unexplained weight loss, slow healing sores, and a need to urinate more often. Sight may become blurred. And in extreme cases, type 1 diabetes can also cause nausea or vomiting, belly pain, and panting. Type 1 diabetes can develop at any age, though it often appears during childhood or adolescence. The earlier the condition is diagnosed, the sooner treatment can begin and the lower the risk of complications. The only treatment for type 1 diabetes is insulin. Insulin is a hormone that is vital for survival in type 1 diabetes. Insulin reduces blood glucose levels by unlocking the cells in the body and allowing glucose to enter the cells thus lowering the amount of sugar in the bloodstream. Carbohydrate counting and frequent blood glucose monitoring are key in the management of type 1 diabetes. For more information, visit www.icldc.ae.